How do you think multiplayer games work? When I was a kid, I thought your game just magically teleported you into this online world. Well, the simple, more accurate way I would put it is you load into a game map by yourself, and then a big computer just sends you messages of what other players are doing. And it really should be as simple as that. But no, making your game multiplayer comes with a giant, painful f***ing headache, and it's simply because of one root problem. Trust. Now more specifically, the server or big computer can't trust the other players, and the main reasons for this is cheaters and latency, also known as gamers most hated stat, ping. And if you didn't know, ping or latency is just the time from your PC to the server and back. So why is this an issue? Well, let's imagine a multiplayer game that relies on the player telling everyone its location. Now let's imagine you're running and jumping along in this game and your Wi-Fi cuts out for just 2 seconds. This wouldn't affect you, but to everyone else, you just froze in the air and then teleported to a new location. So as you can imagine, this is one of the many reasons we can't just trust the player to send us his position. So the solution is to have the player send his input to the server, the server calculates the movement and then sends back the new position to the player. This is the very well known server authoritative approach. But this is where latency screws us again. Since the player is sending his input to the server and then the server sends back his new position, the player doesn't see any position change for maybe one tenth of a second. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it feels like shit, trust me. So the solution for this is to allow the player to predict his movement, and then confirm it was correct with the server calculated movement. And this is called client prediction. And it's a big task. I could complain about it, but at the same time, it's like that 1v5 moment in movies. That human versus dragon moment. It's almost a primal feeling to conquer. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. It's just me nerding out. So when you play a multiplayer game, technically your predicted movement is in the future compared to the server. And the enemies you see are in their past. It's as if everyone is seeing a slightly different reality, and this creates a big problem for calculating things like bullets. Because well, whose reality do we calculate on? The server, the victim, or the shooter? Well, this is an unsolved problem with multiplayer games, so we choose to perform the calculations in the shooter's reality. This is called favouring the shooter. And while this allows the shooter to always hit his shot, it also means that getting shot through walls is possible. So even if you have zero ping, you are still going to get shot through walls if the shooter has 200 ping. And it's all because we favour the shooter. Anyway, like I said before, the second main issue is cheaters. Which is normally just a player that uses a tampered with version of your game that allows them to, for example, double jump or run super fast. But having the server be fully authoritative completely negates this. It's like the server is the king of all the realities and has final say on everything. There is one other way that players can still cheat, and that's aiming. This remains another unsolved problem with multiplayer games, because it's so hard to know if it was simply the player flicking his mouse, or an aimbot locking onto a player. This is why an aimbot can be found for almost every multiplayer game still today. Also, if you're wanting to start a multiplayer game, don't let this video scare you, because 1. A lot of this is only necessary for competitive games, and 2. This is just my understanding of how you should technically do it. I've coded my game to be almost completely super authoritative now, but I still have a few tasks and a lot of testing. Anyway, if you haven't already, wish this my game on Steam, hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.